Welcome everyone, this is Nuno. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys, but I wanted to share some of the exciting new progress that we've made on Hive in the last couple of months since the last time I sent you guys a demo. So in front of you, you're looking at a smaller section of the screen that, that is available. Uh, you'll see a texture of a hex map, but it doesn't necessarily correspond to the tiles that you'll see me place on the screen. Let me go ahead and spawn a bug. Uh, that's an ant that you see in front of you. Uh, looks like the, the lighting is a bit off. That's something that we're obviously going to have to work on because at that point in the screen it certainly looks a little washed out. Uh, but there there's an ant. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spawn the opponent ant. Clicking F6. There he is right there. And of course as you guys know the queen can't come out until or must come out by the, the fourth turn. But I'm going to spawn something else. A beetle. Now, what we haven't implemented are the exact placement rules, which is quite simple. You can't place a bug near an opponent bug. But we can traverse around the hive. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to put the beetle there to simulate that I had placed it there. I'm going to click F7. The opponent wants a beetle, but of course placement rules aren't in place yet. So let's put the beetle there. Uh, let's get a grasshopper on screen and the enemy also wants a grasshopper, we'll leave it there. Oh, it's time to get the queen out because it's the fourth turn, so click F5. Queen will show up there, and I'm putting myself into a favorite entry position that, that uh, I often enjoy. Of course, I don't win that often, so I don't know that you guys want to follow this as, or, and adopt it as part of your strategy. Black will come out with their queen, here's their queen. Um, yeah, that's a good enough spot. So as you can see, this is starting to look uh, a lot like a Hive game, which is quite exciting. This is the first time, in fact, today, just an hour ago, uh, in my last compile and check-in subversion, I was able to do this. So it's very, very, very exciting. The only thing that remains now is for us to put the core game rules in place. And really, the core game rules are nothing more than the individual rules governing how a bug can move. Apart from that, there's a couple others like, you know, we got to preserve one hive at all times and and so on. So there's a few there's a, f a few other core game rules, but there aren't many. This all fits on one page. So this is really the the next major hurdle for us. And myself, Rob, Derek have been working diligently uh up until this point to um, to give you what you guys see right now and we're going to work on that and immediately after that, I think AI is the only last major hurdle and once the AI game rules are in place I think we're ready to send this off to Microsoft and then just leave it to the gods and see what they say. From you content guys uh, we obviously want to have better looking bugs, better better background and some semblance of a HUD with some really nice textures and and, uh, and stuff. So that's something for, for you guys to think about and work on over the next couple of months. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated and if we can show that we have tremendous talent on the development side as well as the content side then we're off to the races so that's it guys um, oh by the way that little hex that you see way at the top above the hive that's uh, our cursor which we'll, we will use in our placement uh, functionality uh, that's something that Rob put in there and he's still putting in place now but that's it guys I hope you have a great weekend and I hope you're encouraged by what you see and I'm looking forward to meeting up with you guys sometime soon and definitely looking forward to uh, the good work that you guys will uh, donate to this cause. Well, it's sweat equity. But we can go into that later at length. All right, signing off.